question for you. Who do you think is the most hated agency in Washington, D.C.? IRS. IRS. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we don't like them, right? We don't want to pay taxes. Anybody else? Department of Justice, maybe? How about immigration? Right, immigration? Wrong. My agency, the CFTC, was the most hated agency in Washington, D.C. Why? Well, there's only one metric that you have to know on whether you're loved or unloved in Washington, D.C., and that's money. So during the drunken sailor spending spree of 2018, commonly known as the federal budget, my agency had its funding cut. Basically, Congress had a leaf blower, and they were blowing out money to all the different agencies, and they cut my funding. So that's the context of where I worked in Washington, D.C. Everybody's out to get you, and we were the most hated agency. I, who wouldn't take that job, right? <laughs> it's a great job. But here's the deal. My agency and my research team had the best information on the markets on the planet. I want you to think of technology like um, craft beer. Who likes craft beers? Excellent, so do I. I love craft beers. Now, I live just outside of Chicago. There's a lot of breweries up there. Uh, some of the really good ones, Founders, Bells, um, Three Floyds, and they all have really funny names when it comes to these beers, right? They have like Dark Lord or you know Apple Spice, or you name it. They have a lot of different names. And I'll never forget the first time I went to one of these microbreweries. And I was very skeptical about having them, because I grew up on Bud, right? Bud was. <laughs> But we sit down, and um, I ordered the first one. It was a dark craft beer. I tasted it, and I was like, wow, that's amazing. It tastes kind of like coffee. This is great. I've never had anything like that. And then I ordered another one, and that one tasted like peanut butter. had a little bit of peanut butter flavor. And then I ordered a third one, and I was like, this is, this is the greatest thing ever. This is fantastic. I'm all in on craft beers. And then I stood up to go to the bathroom, and I did kind of one of these, like, whoa. And I started, I kind of weaved my way into the bathroom, and I thought to myself, these craft beers have a kick. I didn't realize something, right? Bud Light, Kieran, they all have 4.5 to 5% ABV, alcohol by content. The beers I were drinking, nine. So I had three beers in about 45 minutes, and it was, Wow, that's like having a six pack, right? That's like drinking a lot of beer. So it really it snuck up on me. Technology is the same way. Technology can sneak up on you and alter your world. Let me run you through really quickly the history of how technology has changed the financial markets and made them much more volatile. And that's our three planets going into the election of 2016 and the surprise victory of Donald Trump. Huge change. All of a sudden, you have corporate tax cuts on the table. All of a sudden, you've got individual tax cuts on the table. You have financial regulatory and overall regulatory reform on the table. You're taking sand out of the gears of the economy. And of course, you have more fiscal spending. And that means you've got the potential for much stronger growth in the United States. No longer the new normal. No longer 1.5% growth, 3% growth. That's what you get. And the markets take notice.